Elizabeth and right now I am currently home in Dallas. Um, it's spring break and I've been seeing this recipe that I've been wanting to try for a few weeks now and it's um, stuffed pasta shells and I thought it'd be fun to vlog how I make it, um, all the ingredients you need and I was going to make it for my family for dinner tonight. Um, so hopefully they like it, hopefully I like it and I thought it'd be fun to try it with them. Uh, and right now I'm currently about to go to the grocery store. I'm going to get all the ingredients and take you out with me and then show you all exactly everything I got when I get back. So I'm at the grocery store right now and I'm looking for spinach and parsley. There's like fresh spinach right there but I think I'd rather get bags. And then here's the parsley and I think I'm not sure if I want to get the bag or not yet but I'll probably get that in the bag too like the spinach. So now I'm also looking for oregano. I think I'm just going to get uh, one of these up here. I'm just gonna like chop that up and put it in there. So I'm gonna grab that. Okay, so now I'm getting the pasta sauce. Um, clearly there's a lot of options to choose from here. So I think I'm gonna pick one of these out. I have to get two and then I'll show y'all which one I get when I get home. Okay, so the recipe called for pecornio cheese and I don't know if I see that. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right either. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get some sort of Parmesan blend and use that instead. So now I'm just looking for two good sized lemons, so I'm gonna zest in it and probably pick out this one looks good. Probably do this one and then one more and then I'll show you all the rest of the ingredients when I get it. So I just got home from the grocery store and I laid out all the ingredients. So now I'm gonna show y'all what I need and then I will start to cook it. First, you're gonna need minced garlic. It can be cloves, but I just went ahead and bought the pre-cut. And then you're gonna need extra virgin olive oil um, jumbo pasta shells. I actually had trouble finding these, so I ended up having to go to Target to get them. I went to two other grocery stores and they didn't have them. Um, then you need ricotta cheese, oregano, pasta sauce, um, spinach, lemon, uh, crushed red pepper. You're going to need sea salt, parsley, and then a Romano and Parmesan cheese blend. And you're going to need a baking dish to put all that in. And I'm actually doubling the recipe. Um, the original recipe is six servings, and I'm gonna I'm gonna double that because we like to have leftovers, and I'm gonna take some over to my grandparents' house. And I'm actually doubling uh, the recipe. The original recipe calls for six servings, and I'm gonna double it just because we like to have um, leftovers. And I'm also gonna be taking some of this over to my grandparents' house, so I decided to double it. That's why I have so much stuff. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing right now is just uh, waiting for the water to boil. You're gonna need a pretty large pot. So I went ahead and put that on the stove, and then once that's ready, I'm gonna add in um, my pasta noodles. And that's gonna take about 10 minutes um, to cook. And then while I'm waiting on that, I'm gonna go ahead and get the mixture ready that I'm gonna stuff the shells with. Okay, so just adding in, in the noodles, uh, it's gonna probably be about seven more minutes, just waiting on those. And so now I'm currently um, bringing about an inch of water in a skillet to a simmer. And then I'm gonna add my spinach into a steamer basket and I'm gonna steam those for about a minute until they're wilted. And I'm also adding 15 ounces of spinach, but again, I'm doubling the recipe. So um, you wouldn't need that much for the original. Okay, so I just placed the spinach on top of the simmering water and I didn't have like a big enough lid to cover it, but you're supposed to cover it for about a minute wait till it's wilted. So then I'll show y'all whenever that's done. Okay, so the spinach should look like this after about a minute. Um, so now I'm gonna actually go do two more bags of this just because I have so many ounces that I need to make. So I'm gonna do that. And then my pasta actually is pretty much done. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain that. And then once I finish um, the spinach, I'm gonna go ahead and start making the mixture. Okay, so now I'm just gonna drizzle a little olive oil over the pasta noodles just so that they don't stick together while I'm making the mixture. And then I'm just gonna mix that around. Okay, now that the spinach is done, I'm actually gonna take a paper towel and just soak up the excess water. And then we're just gonna um, chop it up pretty finely. And then we're gonna add that into our mixture. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get as much water out as I can. I'm just gonna kinda take it. I'm just kinda gonna go through and just kinda start chopping it up into little pieces. Okay, so the first step of our mixture, I'm just gonna go ahead and zest um, a lemon. You're going to need about three teaspoons, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then once I finish, we'll be able to add in the rest of our ingredients. Okay, so now I'm going to add um, the ingredients in for our mixture. 
Um, so in this little bowl right here, I went ahead and already measured it out. Um, but you have you have about um, six cloves of garlic, which I just used mint. So um, half a teaspoon is half a teaspoon is one clove. So I did um, six of those, and then I have three teaspoons of oregano, uh, three teaspoons of lemon zest, um, two teaspoons of sea salt, um, three fourths a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, and then. Um, I'm also going to add in my cheese, so I'll go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and add this in. And then you're going to add in, so you're going to add in 16 ounces of ricotta cheese, but at the store they only had 15, which is not a big deal to me. But if you want more, you could buy two tubs. But again, I doubled the recipe, so obviously I'm going to have more. But I'm going to go ahead and open this, and I'm going to add it into the mixture. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and add in um, the ricotta cheese. Get all that out into just like a medium sized bowl, I'm just gonna just to mix it up in. And then I'm gonna take my shredded Parmesan and Romano cheese blend. And I'm just gonna add about three fourths cup of that. So or if you want to add extra, just how pretty much however much you want. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm gonna add that in, and then I'm gonna go ahead and mix it. And then once I do that, I'm going to be able to stuff my shells in my baking sheet. Okay, so then I just mix all that up. And now I'm just going to add in some um, ground black pepper. You can pretty much do however much you want. I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle that in. And then I'm just going to mix that in. And then once I finish that, it should look like this. It should look like kind of... Mix together and then now I'm going to go ahead and go stuff the shells okay and then I forgot to mention you're supposed to pour your marinara sauce on the bottom just to line the baking pan and then once I do that I'll spread it around and then I'm going to add in our shells and start to stuff them Where you can tell. okay so now I'm just going to add the filling in to each of these shells it's kind of falling out here and then I'm just gonna start aligning them in the tray and placing them against each other. Okay, so here's what it looks like now that they're all stuffed and um, placed into the baking pan. I went ahead and I sprinkled some cheese over the top of it. Um, you don't have to do that, I just wanted to, so I thought it'd be more fun. Um, so yeah, and now I have the oven preheated at 425 and I'm going to go ahead and add those in and they're gonna cook for about 30 minutes. Okay, so I just put them in the oven. That's kind of what they look like right now. I just put them in. And I'm gonna set the timer for 30 minutes, so it'll take me a minute. Okay. And then I set it for 30 minutes, and then I'll probably video again and show y'all what it looks like at about 15 minutes in, but so far they look pretty good. Okay, sorry, I messed up actually. I forgot you were supposed to cover them with foil, so I just took them out put foil on them and then put it back in. But it should be only about like 20 more minutes. Okay, so while it's cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the kitchen. Clearly, I kind of made a mess. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And um, also I have to say, I honestly didn't take too long to make. Um, probably took about 25 minutes to prep and then it'll take about 30 minutes in the oven. So overall, pretty easy. Um, only pr probably takes about an hour total to make. So I do recommend it. Hopefully it turns out good. So I will let y'all know when it's done and I'm gonna go ahead and go clean up the kitchen. Okay, so I just took them out of the oven. This is what they look like. They look really good, they smell good. I'm gonna go ahead and uncover this one. So we have two trays here and then I might add a little more cheese on top, but I'm not sure yet. But overall, I think it looks pretty good. And I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and make a Caesar salad too to go as a side. And lastly, I just decided to go ahead and make a Caesar salad real quick because I feel like I should have a side for it. Um, so again, I doubled the batch on the Caesar salad. I made it pretty big just because my whole family is going to be eating it. And then I'm probably going to be giving some to my grandparents too. But yeah, that's everything I made. And then I'll give a taste test review after we finish eating. Okay, so overall I give it a 10 out of 10. It was really good. My family enjoyed it a lot. My grandparents loved it. Even my friend Alyssa here. She thought it was really good. It was good. really, really good. Mm -hmm. 
And yeah, and I'm going to post a screenshot of the recipe at the end of the video. So if anybody wants to try it, feel free. And yeah, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.